Hello, Shane Sledder with Team Sledder RWM Home Loans. Um, for today's Shane Scoop, I'm going to come to you with a great tip that's going to help buyers, sellers, and real estate agents in the current market. We've started to see a change in the market. We're starting to see a little bit of a softening. Um, that's due to the fact that interest rates have been going up. Buyers can't quite, quite qualify for the same amount that they could before because their payments are going up. We're starting to see um, the number of properties uh, that are coming to the market increasing, which is good, having higher inventory. But we're starting to see those properties stay on the market for a longer period of time. Um, the traffic in open houses isn't quite as high as it used to be. And instead of homes getting you know, 10 to 20 offers, we're starting to see five offers on a property. So what can we do to help our buyers and our sellers in this current situation? Well, let's say you only qualify for a payment of about $4,200 a month. Um, with the increase in interest rates, that would max your purchase price at $965,000. But what if you're not interested in homes at nine sixty five? dollars You really need to be at that million dollar point in order for the, the homes to be what you'd be interested in buying. But at a million dollars at a five and a quarter uh, interest rate, your payment is closer to $4,500 a month and you just can't qualify at that. Well, let's look at a strategy that's going to help you be able to qualify. In this strategy, we're going to look at an interest rate buy down. What we're going to do is we're going to get you in that million dollar home. We're going to go to the seller. We're going to ask for them to pay $8,000 in closing costs for you. So instead of offering a million, you're going to offer a million eight. They're going to take that $8,000 difference. They're going to credit that to you. You're going to buy down the interest rate to 4.875%, which is going to bring your payment down to 4,267 basically the same amount that you're paying at the 965 purchase price. So now you're getting into that million dollar price range, which is the home that you really want to purchase with the exact same interest rate or the same payment you had at the lower purchase price and you're able to qualify and the seller is able to sell their house. So everyone wins. If we look at the, the opposite side of this, let's say you're a seller right now and you've got your home listed at a million dollars but everybody's coming in and the market's really at that 965 um, price point. Instead of doing a price reduction in 965 where you're gonna lose out on $35,000 of um, sales, why don't you look at instead offering a seller buy down, getting their rate lower so the client is still paying the same amount on a monthly basis as they would at the 965 and you're able to uh, increase the amount of money that you get out of your sale. So just some creative financing strategies that's going to help um, continue to allow you to either qualify or sell your house at a higher amount. Would love to answer any questions you have. Feel free to reach out to me at any time.